go into that. Our next question is an example of how we use molar mass. So when we're using molar masses, um, the reason for needing to know this is when we have particles of chemicals, we can't see them. So it's really hard for us to actually count out how many particles we have. So we have to use mass and weight in the balances and the grams. So this next question is an example of how we would use a molar mass. How many grams are in 2.6 moles of helium HE? Okay, so it's the same idea, except now we're going to use the molar mass in a calculation. So I find HE on the periodic table, and it says HE equals 4.00, and that's grams per mole. I'm going to say grams per one mole. Okay, that's telling me if we had one mole, how many grams would it be? Okay, well, we actually have 2.6. But I can use that ratio to help me figure out then how many grams 2.6 moles of it would be. It's kind of like saying if you know how many dollars one banana or one dozen bananas costs, and you have 2.6 dozen bananas, you can figure out how much that costs. Kind of the same idea. So we're going to do this two different ways we can set it up. We can set it up as a proportion where you say, okay, I have a fraction, where this right here is a fraction. I'm gonna say, okay, what does the question want me to find and what does the question give me? That's important because my units need to line up. The question gives me moles, so I'm gonna put 2.6 moles here, and then the want is always my x, in this case it's gonna be grams. Now the reason that's important is because when I use my molar mass, Need to make sure on this, notice how it's a fraction, right? Um, if I have grams on top here, I gotta make sure I have grams on the top there. If this had moles on top and grams on the bottom, then I can actually flip this fraction around. So I put the four grams on the bottom and the one mole on top. But in this case, it matches up with what we have. Okay, then you do some cross multiplying there, and you're gonna get, when everything cancels, the moles will cancel as a unit. And you'll simply take your four, you're gonna divide it by the one technically, and then you multiply by your 2.6 to get the x by itself, and you get 10.4. So my answer here is 10.4 grams. Now, another way we can do this is with a conversion, just like we've taught you in the past, where you take, okay, here is what is given, or what you have, times a conversion fraction. And when you're done, you end up with the units that you want, right? What do we have? We have 2.6 moles times our conversion fraction. We want on this now, because this is a times instead of an equal sign, the units need to go on opposite sides, okay? That's a big difference. If it's a Portion with an equals, you need to make sure the units line up. If it's a times and you want the moles to cancel, they have to go on opposite sides. Okay, so in this case, one mole on the bottom, and then however much one mole weighs is going to go on top. And notice the math turns out to be the same format. If you look down here on my calculator, it was 4 divided by 1 times 2.6, 4 divided by 1 times 2.6. Ends up being the same thing. It's just two different ways of setting it up. So that would be your answer. You want to remember what we're talking about. It's grams of helium. <clears throat> if you have any questions, please send those questions my way, and I'd be happy to help you some more.